Alright guys, welcome back to the farm! It's me, it's me, Stjin, and we're back on the farm. Now this episode, we're going to finish what we started with the seed oil and the seed oil engines. We're basically going to visit our chestnut farm, our sweet chestnut farm, get that working, get the seed sent to a squeezer, get the squeezer sent to a tank, and get the tank sent to biogas engines. And we'll also think about things like a chicken coop maybe, and a to-do list. So, let's get onto the farm, get our hoe, get our pickaxe, get our axe, get our spade, and get back to work. Right, so what are we doing this episode? Well, you know last episode we did the orchard, the tree farm, over here, with the sweet chestnut. Well, there were a few additions I made to it, a few alterations that I made to the multi-farm to make it work better. Now, you guys mentioned that if I set it to a manual farm with an intricate circuit board and four copper electron tubes, previously it was a managed farm, but if I set it to a, ma to a manual farm, I can set it as an orchard. And you see here these cherries instead of the trees? Well, what this means is it will suck in it will suck in chestnuts from the trees, but it won't chop down the wood. Now, previously in Arboretum, what it does is it plants trees, chops down the wood, and then replants the trees. But we don't want that. We just want the walnuts, the chestnuts rather. So what I've done is I've kind of covered over this area with just normal dirt. I've put down these trees. There's actually four trees over the multi-farm area here, 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 and here. And what this does is when it's got power which it doesn't at the moment, it's collected 41 so far because I had gave it a bit of a test run, but what it does is it will suck the chestnuts out of the trees and pull them into the multi-farm and it'll do it on its own time and it won't destroy the trees and that's really what we want to go for. So that's great, fantastic success. So we're getting chestnuts now into the multi-farm. Now what we need to do is pump these into the squeeze chamber where they'll be squeezed into seed oil and then pump them from the squeezer and the seed oil into the big seed oil tank. So Without further ado, let's head inside and build a squeezer. Oh, who's this scumbag? Uh-oh. Wide open mouth. Oh, no, yeah. When I was showing Kim around earlier, well, uh, there was a bit of an accident and a creeper blew up. So I'm going to have to fix that path pretty soon. Because, man, oh, it's already grown over. Wow. I'll need some stone slab and some dirt blocks to fix that. Right. So here we are. Squeezer. And to make a squeezer, we'll need tin, bronze, and I think that was glass. So let's do it. Right, so sturdy casing in the middle, glass on the top and the bottom, tin on the left and the right, and there we go, a squeezer. Oh yeah, one step closer. Now we'll need some pipes too, and I think we're done, so let's go and put this into motion. Oh, it's night time though, so I'll go and catch some Zs so I don't get exploded by some creepers. Alright, phase one is complete now, it's time to head to the squeeze chamber and put this squeezer down and get it piped in so that we can pump the chestnuts straight to the squeezer. Right now, we need a good place to put this. We're going to need to plumb it in via the um, the redstone conduits anyway. But because we have limited redstone conduits and we want to save them as much as possible, why not put this squeezer right here next to this squeezer over here? Makes sense. Okay, let's get the squeezer out. Plonk it down. Perfect. Now what we need to do is plumb in the pipes. So I'm going to get the, my axe out. Just dig down here. There we go. And now I'll we'll have to dig towards the multi-farm down there. Oh, now this could be tricky. What I'm probably going to do is come along the tunnels that I dug for the power pipes. Because if I can bring them in the same direction, I can eliminate a lot of the fuss. So I'll just dig towards... Oh, no, I don't want to waste my Thormium pick. Have I got a spare? No, I'll go and make a Sapphire pick, actually, a Ruby pick. Oh, man, so I'm just thinking about what else I need on my farm. And I think what I probably want to do is to collect my ideas into some kind of to-do list. I think that'd be really helpful so that in future I can just refer to the to-do list and make sure that I get the priorities done because we really should have tackled our power situation a long time ago and we've taken way too long to get to it. And now we're just in a kind of backlog now, almost run out of honey. It's kind of just, just bad business, a bad situation. So we need a to-do list, I think. Also, we're going to need eggs because we've got all of the animals a farm needs except one. And that's chickens, so we're going to need to build a chicken coop, and we'll use that to harvest the eggs. Oh, sand, that could be bad. Oh, what's this? I can see daylight. Where are we? Oh, we're at the peat farm, of course. And here we are, here's the redstone energy conduit that we can follow along and build next to. Alright, now where does this go up? Uh, it should go up towards the squeezer. So where are we? Alright, oh, there it is. That's where the squeezer goes. So we'll just go along here and start putting in the pipes. Oh, did I look at him? 
I don't think I looked at him, but he's jonesing out. Oh, I better be careful. Better watch this guy. He's a real menace. Okay. Bring the pipes along here. Oh. Stay back, Ender, dude. Got my eye on you. Oh, man, look at this. I think I'm literally about three or four pipes away from having enough to put this down. Oh, that's so that sucks so much. Okay, back to the storehouse. Careful not to look at the Ender, dude. And I'll get some more pipes and finish up this system. All right, so this is... It's, we're really close now to actually finishing our power situation to getting everything working and in, and in proper order. We've got the chestnut oils, got the chestnuts, chestnut trees, and we've got chestnuts inside the multi-farm already. We've got our squeezer down. All we need to do is hook up with waterproof pipes to the tank and then build biogas engines, of course, to actually process the seed oil into power. Right, so let's connect the dots, the stone transport pipe dots. Put it into place. Ah, oh, yeah, we've got a looped system now. And the chestnuts should make their way across this pipe all the way to the squeezer. Now let's look at this other squeezer and how have we done this? Well, we've got a wooden conduct we've got a wooden waterproof pipe here coming out of the squeezer and going up to the honey tank. So I might need a wooden waterproof pipe. So I'll go and grab one of those. Right, so what's this chest here? Oh right, this is where I've been storing all the propolis and the pollen and the beeswax because if you check our centrifuge, wow, look at all that honeycomb going around the system. Now we have a slight problem with our bees because they create not just honeycomb but also beeswax and pollen. But it's okay because we can just put it in this chest over here because it doesn't create that many over time. And I'm sure this stuff has a use. It's just I haven't really kind of needed them yet but I might need them when I start to ferment stuff. Like beer, if we're going to make beer, then we definitely need to use propolis for that. Right, so, a wooden waterproof pipe coming out of the squeezer. That's simple enough. Down it goes. There we go. Now we need a redstone engine powering that sucker. So we'll plonk it. Why not there? Perfect. Now I'll need to put a torch underneath that redstone engine to power it. So let's see a stick and a redstone. There we go. Voila, it's on, but there's nothing to pump yet. So don't worry, Redstone Engine, you can just keep on pumping, and I won't judge. Now I'll bring this pipe up with cobblestone waterproof pipe, and go straight to the roof. And now I'll nerd pole up here. I should actually put a ladder up here, because it's so many times I've had to come to the roof of this thing. And just using dirt to climb it, well, it's not ideal. Right, so let's dig a hole, uh, I think, uh, maybe here. Yep, looks good. And now we can feed the pipe up here. Uh, have I got the reach? Not sure I've got the reach. Well, no matter. I can just start building the pipe up here anyway. And come over to the seed oil tank. Right, here we go. Oh, be careful. It's very easy to fall off pipes, and I don't want to do that too much. I'll lose all my health. So here we go. Oh, careful. Careful, Stin. Oh, it's getting hard. Oh, I'm running out of health as well. I'm running out of hunger. Another thing, actually, because we can make so many different types of foods in Yogcraft now, it makes sense that I should actually build a kitchen, a place for us to automate the making of things like pies and cakes, hot chocolate, squid sandwiches, all those kinds of things, because that way we can get some real produce to send to a farmer's market. Wouldn't that be cool? All right, that goes in the tank like that. Comes down here. Oh, there we go. It's all, it's all hooked up apart from a couple of pipes inside the squeeze chamber. So I'll come down here, dig away this nerd pole, and finish up the pipes. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, my farm is looking pretty swish now, and it's almost fully powered. But there is one big thing missing, and that is chickens, I think. So I'm going to have to get on that pretty soon. There we go. All right, it's all hooked up. So the only thing left to do is, I think, to turn on the power and see if the walnuts actually get sent from our chestnut farm all the way to the squeezer. Let's try it. Now it'll be really nice to actually start using seed oil instead of honey as an engine, as an engine fuel, because I don't think honey's very efficient. I think it's like two megajoules per tick or even one. Whereas seed oil is about three, which is like three times as good potentially. Oh, oh, contact. Get out of my multi-farm scumbag. Yeah, that's right. Get out of here. Right, yeah, I don't see them moving. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the wooden transport pipe that we got. And we're going to need another redstone engine, I think. But that's fine. Right, redstone engine. Let's take another one of these bad boys. We'll also need a redstone torch to turn this on. 
So I'll just make that now. There we go. Oh, contact more skeletons. Get off my farm. Get off my farm. There we go. He's gone. Forever. Ha ha ha. And I've got bones to turn into bone meal. Perfect. Right, so redstone engine is what we need inside the farm to make it ship the chestnuts to the squeezer. Let's try this. Plonk you down like that. Turn you on like this. And are we seeing chestnuts being pumped out of here? Oh, yeah, we are. Look at this. Oh, now this is a beautiful thing. Right, so while those chestnuts are being pumped through to the squeezer, it's going to take a really long time for them to go down that stone transport pipe because I've got no gold pipes to speed them up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build some biogas engines. Oh, oh, contact. I'm going to build some biogas engines to put in this second engine bay, and then we can really start making power. Right, so, biogas engine. How are we going to make this mother trucker? Biogas? Is it biogas or biomass? I can't remember. Biogas? No, it's not biogas. It might be biom... No? Well, it's a bio something. There it is. Biogas. Okay, it is biogas. Right. So how do we make this thing? Oh, of course. Bronze gears, glass, piston, and uh, and bronze ingots. Well, that's super easy to make because we've got tons of tin and tons of copper. So let's just take all our copper out of here. All of our tin. Oh, only nine, actually. We haven't got that much tin. But we shouldn't need too much. Because it's only one tin ingot and a load of copper to make tons of bronze. There we go. Let's make all the bronze. 36 bars. Should be plenty. Okay, here we go. Biogas engine. So first things first, we need wooden gears. And I've got a couple of spares in Buildcraft, so I'll just grab those. And stone gears I sh might need as well. Now, how do you make a bronze gear? Let's check this out. So bronze gear is four bronze around a stone gear. And I will need, if I'm going to make three engines, I'm going to need, ooh, two gears per engine. So that's six gears in total. So I'll need six stone gears in here and I'll just split the bronze evenly around the edge and we'll see how many gears I get nine gears perfect so I'll also need pistons so that's cobblestone on the sides I'll build three of those iron in the middle redstone at the bottom and wood at the top is it I think so and there we go three pistons perfect Now, I'm actually going to need some bronze bars anyway, so that's a bit of a mistake making all those gears. Now, I think I've got some tin here, so I might have to smelt that up. Yeah, there's the tin ore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that in the pulverizer while the honey engines are still active. And we'll come back once we've got some tin dust into tin bars that we can turn into those biogas engines. Right, so here comes the tin zipping around the system. Oh, yeah, perfect. Now, I'll just collect a few of these bars from the chest. Which it should go into right here. Kablamo, tin ingots, perfect. Right, so glass in the middle. Bronze gears on the left and the right. Pistons at the bottom. Bronze at the top. Here we go. And hey presto, biogas engine, sweet. And three of them. Now I've also got enough, I, I could make four actually. And that might be something to do, because I think I will, actually. You know what? I think I will. Because I'm going to make so much seed oil from these trees that I'm going to have plenty of oil to splash on these engines. And there we go. Four biogas engines. All right. Awesome. Now let's go put these bad boys down and get them piped up with a redstone engine. Oh, of course, I need a redstone engine. And a wooden waterproof pipe. Oh, man. I'm so excited. I'm so close to getting my farm to be... Fully powered and fully operational. Right, so I'm just going to dig away at the bars over here and the wooden steps here. Just modify this slightly. There we go. Now we're going to have the biogas engines in a kind of quad setup. So I'm going to put one there. Oh, they're facing the wrong way, but my crescent hammer can fix that. And then we're going to plug them in with redstone conduits like this. Dump, 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 dump. And then we'll plonk one here to hook this up to the main power. 
up here, and there we go. Oh, yeah, perfect. We'll just fill in this dirt here. And there we go. It's all hooked up. Now it's just waiting for the crescent hammer. Where is my crescent hammer? Oh, no, if I put it in the chest, I think I might have done... Let's go and get the crescent hammer and put these engines in the right configuration. Right, so let's crescent these babies up so they're facing the right way. That's the right way. There we go. Two down. Two to go. Three down. Four down. Oh, yeah, now look at this. Now we're going to put the levers to the left and the right of the engines just because that makes them easier to get to. And they need input for the seed oil. So I'm just going to bring a pipe up around the back here. And now, oh, we should check the tank, actually, because has it got any seed oil? Oh, yeah, it does. Look, already. 1,920 seed oil. Great stuff. So let's go over and check the squeezer, because the walnuts, the chestnuts, must have arrived by now. There we go. Oh, it's all looking really good, guys. I'm really super excited. And I can't wait to get this turned on. Oh, yeah. Now, the squeezer is squeezing those chestnuts into oil. It's going pretty slow, because the, uh, the honey engines are quite slow themselves. But here we go. It's going to turn the seed oil on. Oh, no, of course. I've almost forgotten. I'll need lava to heat up these engines so they've got enough power to start. Here we are, ground zero. Now, where is this lava? There should be some down here. Oh, no, it's all obsidian now. Oh, no, there it is. There's still some of the sweet orange stuff left. Let's just fill up these buckets. There we go. Perfect. Four buckets of lava. Now, let's get topside and plug these into the engines. All right, sweet stuff. Now, let's put this lava inside the engines. I'm just chomping at the bit here. I want to get these engines up and running so that my farm is fully operational. Now, one bucket of lava should be enough to kickstart my engines, but I should be careful right-clicking with a lava bucket because, well, if you make the wrong move, you'll right-click and spill lava all over your engines in a way you don't want to. So I'll just right-click with my redstone torch instead, put the bucket here, There we go. And the final bucket up here. Oh, yeah, looking good. Now, there isn't quite enough seed oil in these engines for them to start. But once there is, let's just turn them on. Once there is, these babies will fire up and they'll increase the speed at which seed oil is produced. Because, man, I think there's tons of seeds already inside this squeezer. We might even need a another squeezer, to be honest. I'm thinking that might be an... Oh, mulch! Oh, wow. Now, what is mulch used for? Let's take a look, because I think it's quite useful. Mulch. Right, so we press R on this. This is how you make it. You press U. This is what it's used for. Okay, it's using the carpenter to make peat. Hummus, rather. And bog earth. And you can put it in a carpenter and put it into crates. Okay, cool. So what is hummus used for? Let's take a look. Hummus is used for, well, nothing. You can just craft it into crates. Okay, well, that's worth thinking about. Now, any of these engines started up yet? No, not yet. There's still not quite enough seed oil in these engines for them to get going. But what will be happening on the side while these engines are going is the quarry will be up and running, finally. Now, last time I stopped it, it was still building the frame. But it should have finished building the frame now. Do we see any items coming up here? No, we don't. So that means the quarry can't be in action. Oh, what's this? Oh, more lasers. More laser action. Here we go. So let's take a look at what's going on down by the quarry. Oh, yeah, look, the frame is almost built. It's getting there. But I think we have a problem. I think I saw that... Yeah, oh, look, the quarry chamber's flooded. Oh, no. Let's go down here and fill in this flood. Right, yeah, look, check this out. Oh, man, this sucks. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to fill in this area so that we don't get flooded. I think I can do that with... Oh, what have I got? Cobblestone should work. So if I plonk it... Oh, careful. Over here. And down... Oh, no, that should... That, oh, that's fine. Right, yeah, so I can just break that. And there we go. It's a bit makeshift. I might replace this with glass so we can actually see into the quarry. But for now... Okay, that, that, that works fine. Now, the frame is going to get built, the quarry is going to start working, and also the seed oil engines are going to start working as well, man. Those, those biogas engines are going to start churning out the power so that we can power all the machines and all the cool things on our farm, which means, in turn, that we can build even more cool things.
And so fingers crossed, next episode you so you should see a pretty much full... I'm going to turn off the honey tank now. Turn off the power going to that. That means next episode you should be able to see, well, as full as can be, a seed oil tank. So next episode also we're going to have to build a to-do list so that we can work out what we're doing. We're going to have to think about chicken coops. We're also going to have to think about building a kitchen so that we can make some of this cool food that's available in the mod and we can get that food off to a farmer's market and sell our wares, all our cool ingredients and all our cool supplies to all our, all our friends like Lalna and Rithian and maybe Kim, maybe Lewis, maybe Simon. Maybe they all want to sample some of Shin's Farm's wares and we can have a, a shindig as well. We can have like build like a barn, have a barn party. We'll get some dudes. We'll play some bluegrass. Oh, it'll be amazing. Right, so I've been Shin and this has been Feed the World. Hope you've liked, hope you've liked this episode. Hit like and favorite if you have, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time when we're hopefully doing a to-do list and a chicken coop. Take care.